This is Ren Alcantara, Editor-at-Large at Gadgets Magazine. Hello and welcome to another episode of Gadgets TV. We are here to deliver the most relevant topics in tech, lifestyle, and motoring so you can stay up to date with all the latest news all in one place. First off, we take a look at the world of tech in Circuit Break. In tech news, The Last of Us Part 2, the follow-up to the massive 2013 PlayStation hit, has broken sales records since its release just over a week ago. Sony Interactive Entertainment Senior Vice President Eric Lempel confirmed in a blog post that the game has become the fastest-selling first-party exclusive ever, with 4 million copies sold worldwide in just three days. The title, made by developer Naughty Dog, follows up on the lives of the protagonists from the first game and is being lauded by fans and critics alike as one of the finest examples of video game storytelling. Kaspersky reviewed threats targeting major gaming platforms and found at least four malware, malware specimens that are capable of stealing users' account data from platforms such as Battle.net, Origin, and Uplay in order to resell it afterwards, as well as putting users' banking details at risk. In order to protect your gaming accounts from malware, including password stealers, Kaspersky recommends taking the following actions. Step 1. Set up two-factor authentication so that even if your login and password have been stolen, they won't be enough to access your account. Step 2. Only download game modifications from trusted sources. Step 3. Use a reliable security solution, such as Kaspersky Security Cloud, which will be able to identify stealers and stop them from stealing your data. Step 4. Do not turn off your security solution while playing a game. Some security solutions, such as Kaspersky Security Cloud, have a special gaming mode which reduces the load on the computer during playing time and doesn't affect the quality of the gaming experience. That's it for tech. Now let's see what's going on in the world of mobility in Pitstop. By the third quarter of this year, Maxus Philippines, the ILA-owned importer and distributor of British-bred commercial vehicles in the country, will add the G50 compact MPV to its roster of renowned light commercial vehicles, the G10 MPV, V80 van, and T60 pickup. The G50, which will come in fun colors such as roll and purple, has been designed to capture the fancy of young families and upwardly mobile professionals to take their mobility potential to the maximum. With a soon-to-arrive G50, Maxus PH widens its customer base, adding to its product portfolio another model that'll transport even more Filipinos in convenience and comfort. Since March, Petron has been actively helping the country overcome the COVID-19 pandemic. The Philippines' largest oil refining company has previously distributed preloaded PVCs to doctors, nurses, and other hospital staff as a token of appreciation for their invaluable service and sacrifice. It also donated free fuel to help frontliners in Luzon, Iloilo, Tagbilaran, and Cebu avail of free transport. Special discounts were also extended to workers from various sectors. With funds raised from Petron Value Card holders and a corresponding contribution from the company, Petron was able to provide complete sets of personal protective equipment to several COVID-19 referral hospitals. That's it for Pit Stop. Now let's take a look at what's happening in the lifestyle world. In lifestyle news, Sun Life of Canada Philippines Incorporated is enjoining Filipinos to begin their journey to recovery with a campaign dubbed Rise Together to a Bright New World. The campaign was launched as part of Sun Life's annual commemoration of Financial Independent Month every June. It features initiatives ranging from online financial literacy sessions to digital tools, all of which aim to empower Filipinos to get back on track in their financial goals as well as their health and wellness aspirations. Sun Life recently launched a digitally enabled sales process that will allow Filipinos to stay financially protected from the safety of their own home during the COVID-19 pandemic. Through this process, clients can connect virtually to get professional financial advice from Sun Life advisors to learn about the insurance products that fit their needs and avail of those solutions. For those who have no Sun Life advisor yet, they can simply go to advisormatch.sunlife.com to connect with one and receive a free consultation. Visa today announced a commitment to support 10 million small businesses across the Asia Pacific in an effort to get local communities back to business in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Visa is introducing a range of programs and solutions to help small and medium enterprises drive efficiency and sales by accepting and making payments digitally to meet increased demand for cashless payments, both online and in-store. Visa formed the Visa Economic Empowerment Institute focused on economic and societal issues, including pandemic challenges SMEs face 
and closing racial and gender opportunity gaps. To help small businesses, Visa is focusing initially on four strategic areas to promote digital commerce and economic growth, with plans to continue to create products and services as the needs of the entrepreneurs change over time. These areas include empowering digital first businesses, encouraging digital payments, incentivizing neighborhood support, and developing positioning and policy. And that's it for this week's installment of Gadgets Magazine TV, your weekly rundown of the latest news and features in the world of tech, lifestyle, and motoring. Catch us online on Facebook, YouTube, and the Gadgets Magazine website on Tuesdays and Fridays. See you next time.